Oh, nasty, look at that. What is that coming out of the mouth? Mass infections, traumatic brain injuries, and how in the world are they gonna treat that creepy character? Get excited because today we are breaking down and reacting to all of the post-apocalyptic medical scenes and wild injuries from The Last of Us TV show. Let's dive right in. Holy cow, what is that? There's no eyeballs. There's no other face left except for a mouth. We got tongue, we got some teeth, maybe some rotting teeth. When we actually have rotting teeth, we actually call them dental caries. We see a lot of people that come to the emergency department with dental problems, dental fractures, teeth coming out, bad dental abscesses, or just dental pain. No, oh, just get out of there. Oh, he's like shooting him with close range bullets to the abdomen, not really doing anything. If you get close range bullets to the abdomen, one, you're gonna get muscle burn. And then the other component ends up being soft tissue. You're gonna hit intestines. Get out. Fight or flight situation. So your sympathetic nervous system is your fight or flight. You're gonna have pupils that are dilated. Your heart rate's going to increase. You are going to be able to focus and get out. Get out! Versus your rest and digest and relax is your parasympathetic nervous system, which in this situation would not help. Don't move. Oh, it's on glass, of course. You got to be careful sometimes if you step on glass and it goes through the shoe and punctures the bottom of your foot. You have to worry about a bacteria called Pseudomonas because it's sometimes in the materials of the bottom of the sole of the shoe. So in those situations, then you actually need to get antibiotics. We'll also check to make sure that there's no foreign bodies already still in the foot. Oh my gosh, so gross droplet precautions or airborne precautions. Those are things that we have heard a lot about recently. Is it spread through just being in the air or small droplets? Doesn't seem like that because they're just getting a significant exposure, all of them, unless they all have immunity already against this. There you go, ah, it's the head. Gunshot wounds to the head of a human being. Normally, again, one shot could potentially cause significant amount of damage and kill you versus if it hits a certain part of your brain, it may not actually show up. We have very complex brains, but not all the time do we understand how it presents itself when it actually has a problem. I understand the clicking, I guess, now that I see these mushroom heads. So they have to use some sort of sensory cool, higher function. If there are people who say are blind or deaf, their other senses are more heightened. So they're able to compensate for the lack of that one sense that they have. I'm a really good lawyer. Oh, on fire. We've seen people who have had a significant amount of facial burns, other types of body burns. The most common I've actually seen is literally boiling water. Hot soups is another big one. So just be careful. Those typically you'll see second degree burns. Bill, oh, left side of the abdomen, certain organs on this side. You have your descending colon, you may be part of the rectum, and then also small intestines. All those structures, if they're hit, you need surgery, you need to close up those wounds. I made a list for you. Huh? Tell me about the list. I have copies of, of all the keys. Yeah! You can't be here alone. Using drinking alcohol to clean his hands. You treat an outside wound with rubbing alcohol, you treat an inside wound with drinking alcohol. The alcohol that we use at the hospital it needs to be like 60, 70, 80%. Mostly the booze that's out there, it's about 40%. So it doesn't kill everything, probably not, but is it better than nothing? Yeah, probably. You should give him some to drink. No. Oh, no. on the wound, trying to sterilize the wound. Oh my gosh. In previous hospitals, I've actually seen that they had like a can of beer. Beer. It was for those instances where a patient had a toxic alcohol ingestion. If you actually drank regular ethanol, it would displace the methanol. Now that we have medication for that, it's very interesting. And it was actually old school therapy. Let me in, just go old school. How fast could somebody die from a single gunshot wound to the abdomen? It all just depends on the structures that are hit. Oh, what is that? Another clicker? Yes, the mushroom almost looks like a rose. Growing out of the frontal lobe of the brain. Most of the time it has to do with like personality. A lot of times you'll get like brain cancers that actually grow in that area. The most common is a meningioma, which is a benign. Benign. 
but nine and a half. Face occupying lesion of the brain. Sometimes when you start seeing somebody who might have a personality change, that could be a culprit. So just something to keep in mind. Run! Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Whoa, we see so many types of accidents related to people getting hit by cars. Amount of velocity, damage, what you end up hitting, even just the secondary effects of getting hit and then getting thrown, whiplash, head injury when you hit the ground, intracranial bleeding, skull fractures. Oh, a stab to the neck. So it's interesting. Do these cordyceps mushroom zombies still have the same anatomy in the neck? Look at that neck! Your jugular vein, your carotid artery, and then smaller blood vessels thereafter. For me, I'm doing ultrasounds on people's necks to put a big central line in, and you know, we're targeting the jugular vein. Mrs. Adler? Mrs. Adler. Oh, oh, he's alive still. He's slowly dying. And is it because of a transmission of infection? It doesn't typically happen that fast. Usually take a couple of days. There is an incubation period of time. It has to do when the pathogen has to replicate in our body and has to beat our defense systems. Oh, oh, just uh, having a nice meal. Oh my gosh, another person. Oh, nasty, look at that. What is that coming out of the mouth? Can humans get fungal infections? Absolutely, yes. Fungal infections are actually quite hard to treat. We do have medications for them. They're trying to figure out how to make a vaccine against fungus. Trust the fungus. Typically, it takes many, many weeks of antifungal medications to eradicate or treat fungal infections if you get one. What are we doing, Joe? Oh. Oh, broken jaw, definitely. If you hit on the side of the head here, you can cause a middle meningeal bleed of an artery, which then can cause an epidural hematoma, which then could cause herniation of the brain and kill you. You can also have a subdural hematoma bleeding around the brain, which one looks like uh, the crescent moon and the other one looks more like a lens. Obviously blood inside your skull is not good. Are you just having a concussion or brain contusion, get knocked out? And then obviously any of the fractures of any bones that definitely got hit. This is scary, this is nuts. I've reacted to the Last of Us video game, so I have some understanding in the background, but seeing it portrayed in TV form and show form is a whole nother level, a little bit scarier, a little bit more realistic. Do you guys like the show? Let me know in the comments. You want me to do another iteration of The Last of Us? Please let me know in the comments as well. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.